Ciao familia, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Kara, if you don't know me, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about our upper body and how important it is for women to train upper body. Because I know that you ladies over there, some of you might have this stigma that build and training your upper body will make you look manly. It won't happen. First of all, because women do not have the same testosterone levels of testosterone as men. So it's actually impossible to build the same physique as a man anyway, in terms of body composition and everything, okay? So that's just, even if you wanted to, you won't. But when you see those women that are much particularly more built, okay, it's because they actively seek to lift um, with their upper body really extremely heavy weight and frequently as well. They might do it twice, three times a week, but really heavy, okay, really intense. Even four times a week. People like divide push and pull and they do push and pull twice, which means training upper body four times a week. So these kind of women will really put a lot of effort in, in building a more really built physique. However, if you want to build a feminine, strong, athletic physique like me. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I'm not the best, we you know, but I feel like I train upper body and I don't really look that manly. I still, like, you know, can have my curves, bunda and everything. So you don't have to worry about training upper body, ladies, okay? Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, if you want me to help you specifically with your goals. So whether you have a specific goal in mind that you want to achieve, you want to lose weight, you want to tone up somewhere, you want to grow a specific area of your body, I can help you one-on-one. -on -one. Link down below for online coaching. But now, let's get back into our upper body. I'm going to be showing you five different exercises. They're staple in my workout routine and they've really helped me create a strong, stronger physique. And with these exercises as well, Familia, you will notice that by getting stronger at your upper body, your leg gains will also improve because even during squats, you recruit upper body muscles as well. Obviously, the dominant ones will be your lower body, but also by having a stronger upper body, you will notice your strength will overall improve, aka more gains in your upper body as well. That being said, without any further ado, let's start. Okay, I only need get in a mat. And for me, we're going to start with the basics first, okay? This doesn't even count as one of the five, one of the five things. This is an extra, a bonus thing, because I'm so kind to you, Familia. <laughs> so we're talking about warming up first, okay? So before any exercise, it's important that you spend some time dedicating to your joints, to the main joints that are going to be recruited during your exercises aka dynamic stretches, okay? So one of the best stretching exercises that will particularly um, involve your shoulders and your upper body in general, okay? This is the greatest, uh, one of the greatest stretching exercises that you can do, okay? So what you want to do, you want to put your one hand on the floor, kneel down, and the opposite leg um, just opposite the resting arm as well. Hand on top of your head. So starting with this position like that, okay? You wanna bring your elbow down, okay? And make it reach almost under the little arm that you go here. I know that I'm not explaining it very well, am I? So again, hand on your head, hand down, really aim to stretch and bring that elbow down, almost making it touch the other hand. You should really feel the stretch all here, okay? All your lats. So down and then up. Release up, hand straight towards the ceiling. And then again. Hold, one, two, three. You should really feel the stretch over here. And then again up in the sky. And same thing you wanna do with the other leg, okay? We do it five times on each side, nice and easy. Now, another exercise 
um, that we're going to be focusing on our shoulder joints. Why do we focus so much on our shoulder joints? Because these are the joints that are going to be recruited the most during your upper body exercises, okay? So let's go downstairs and I will show you. Let's go. That's one of the warm-up mistakes that I actually see people making loads at the gym. They usually grab this place and they just do this. Or this. To warm up or to just work their shoulders, which is absolutely wrong. Because if we look at the principles of gravity, the plate is actually pulling down towards the ground, right? But we're moving the plate this way. So we're not even working against the gravity because the gravity of the plate is pulling down and we're just moving side to side on a different, completely different plane, which makes which completely defeats the purpose of doing this movement with a weight like that, okay? So a great alternative instead, instead of doing this, go on a cable machine, make sure you select little to no weight or a weight that is easier to handle. And this way, if you replicate the same exercise using a cable machine like this, okay? This time the weight will come from here. It won't pull you down like the weight the normal plate, if you make sense. The weight and the force this time is coming from the same direction, if you make sense. Does it make sense? I hope it does. But anyway, if it doesn't make sense, listen to me anyway, because I'm telling you the right thing. So if you wanna warm up your shoulders rather than doing those, get on a cable, select a light weight, and just bring your elbows close to the side to your body. And just extendly rotate like so distance yourself as well so you can go through the full range of motion and that is far more effective than what you were doing there you're welcome again warming up you don't really have to spend much five to ten, ten minutes is more than enough that being said now for me yeah let's get on to the real deal the real exercise just the five exercise starting with number one let's do it guys i mean you see me talking about it on Instagram so much. I've been practicing these, I think, for like eight months now. That's how long it takes. And I want you to, and I'm being honest with you, because this is such a complex exercise. It is a body weight exercise, but it's so complex that it actually takes you a while to master it. And I want you, and this is where I want you to be persistent and consistent with it, okay? It took me, I'm not joking, it took me six months to perfect it and finally being able to do it unassisted. This is the one and only pull-ups. <laughs> what an intro that I'm giving it to it because it's literally just requires all the intro needed. I always use um, two boxes to eleva elevate myself, but you can also jump up if you feel more comfortable doing so. Um, but I just prefer doing it starting elevated if it makes sense. Now, I can only, I can still, even if I've been practicing for that long, I can only do one still, <laughs> or two maybe. But let's do it. So initially it's actually easier to practice as a chin up, okay? Chin ups are actually easier because of the way um, your muscles get recruited. It's more uh, your biceps getting recruited as well. And um, this is the harder, hardest version. I first started practicing with these. And I also use a band, a resistance band, which I don't have with me today. But So let's see if I can get one today, because it's, it's still today like a bit of a hit and miss. Okay. Yes, I did it. <laughs> and I went all the way down as well, and then back up. That's the secret. Anyway, if you want to start getting pull-ups, in your routine. I recommend you should practicing at least three times a week. And I know you'll be like, oh, that's loads. But all you have to do is literally just do them at the beginning of your workout. So if you're doing upper body, right, just do it at the beginning of your workout. Just practice 10 minutes, that's all you need. Practice what I'm going about to tell you. And then, so if you do upper body twice a week, that's already twice. And then even on your leg day, do it at the end of your leg day, okay? Just a little practice, 10 minutes. That's all you need. You don't have to actually purposely come to the gym just to do pull-ups, if it makes sense. Just do it as an accessory, but you need to do them frequently, okay? So one thing that really helped me build the strength of pull-ups, obviously it's training up the body. So doing all the exercises in this video will help you because these are compound exercises that will help you build your overall strength. So very necessary. 
Second thing that I used to do is hold. I'll actually do them from below. All you have to do is literally hang, okay, for as long as you can, and do this mini movement, trying to pull yourself up a little bit, okay? Do about 10 of these, and then hang for as much as you can, as long as you can, literally as long as you can. That is a great way. Second thing with your band, with your resistance band, um, I don't have it with me unfortunately today, but you'll tie it up and you practice literally pull-ups with the resistance band. Third thing is the pull-up machine, which is being used right now. I'll show you in a minute how to use it, but honestly, this is a great exercise because it also works on your core as well. You'll be surprised, but your core gets really activated during chin-ups, AKA pull-ups or whatever you want to call them, okay? Great exercise and also how freaking cool does it look when you can see, especially a woman, like I mean, I'm not being sexist here, but the reason why I'm saying especially a woman is because a man normally has more strength anatomically speaking, they've got more muscle than women, and that's just how it is. And especially seeing a woman doing a pull-up is such a big achievement for me because it really shows a sign of strength, and it's freaking empowering, okay? So get on your pull-up, sis. I just really want you to see you doing one at least, okay? So keep practicing, and don't get discouraged because as I said, it took me ages, and still I can only do two, so why keep practicing? That's how it is, and it's not a race, it's not, it's not a race, it's not for how, however fast you can do it. Just do it until you get it. It's easy as it. This is an easier alternative for beginners. Um, so this is the pull-up machine. And one thing that um, beginners don't know about this machine that I'm about to tell you is actually the heavier you go with this machine, the easier it is. So you know how on any other machine of the gym, the heavier you go, the harder it is for you to use. This is the only exception, okay? the heavier you go, the easier it is to use because it offers you more weight and more support, okay? So, for beginners as well, you can either use, again, chin up. So the closer you go in terms of grip, the easier it is. The wider you go, the harder it is. So if you wanna start directly from pull-ups, so you decide, I actually wanna just do pull-ups instead of chin-ups, you can just practice. So knees on the pad, okay? You go down, all the way down. Make sure you get a big stretch, okay? No half reps. So all the way down, get a nice stretch and pull yourself up. And then down again. Nice and easy. On to the next one. Very serious moment. We're doing a barbell bent over row, okay? If you're a beginner, you can also start with the bar alone, which I strongly recommend. Also, um, you can do it at the squat rack because normally you can just put the bar on to the hooks, but our squat rack is taken at the moment, so we're just gonna do it here. But you don't have to do it at the squat rack. You can also do it, for example, if the squat rack is busy for squats, which most times it really is, just bring the barbell um, elsewhere and it's just as easy to perform, okay? So you select weight, your chosen weight, and what I want you to do is to almost, it's almost like a RDL, a Romanian deadlift, to begin with, okay? So you bend down on your hips, so it starts from you pushing your hips back. So imagine someone pinching you from your bum. Okay, that's what I want you to imagine the movement to be on. So hips back, and I want you to slightly bend at your knees so that they're not completely straight like that. So bend at your knees. And I personally prefer a reverse grip. So I like to grab my barbell like that. Some people prefer grabbing it like this. Do whatever feels the most comfortable to you. I personally feel it here a little bit more by grabbing it this way. So I'll grab the barbell, okay? I'll look down the whole time, so make sure you don't look up while you do this because you can strain your neck. So you have to look down the whole time, okay? And bring the barbell towards your belly button over here, okay? And then release. Nice and easy. So let's do it with the barbell now. So again, pushing my hips back, bent at my knees, grabbing the barbell, okay? Looking down, letting this, this doesn't have to be far away, by the way, okay? This needs to be close to your legs as close as possible. Don't let this travel away from you, 
okay? So bend down and bring this towards your belly button. And breathe. Pause, okay? And release. Nice and easy. On to the next one. Next exercise, military press. This, is work, this will work your shoulders and this is one of the prime exercise, compound exercises. Just because, first of all, it's great to engage your core when you push up, okay? And also, it also counteracts all the pull exercises. So a lot of people actually tend to focus on pull movements and working out their back, but they don't really focus on working out the shoulders and that can create imbalances, okay? So it's important to also focus on at least one key movement for your shoulders. And this is one of my favorites because it works your whole upper body as well. So what I like to do, well, I'll demonstrate without the weight first. Start with the bar alone because it will be heavy enough. Um, if you're a beginner, start with a lighter weight. So they normally have lighter bars because this is a 20 kilo one, okay? So you don't want to start with 20 kilo if you're a beginner. And what you'll do, you'll drive the barbell up above your head, okay? So you can't be like that, it needs to be above your head. And then bring it down, just close to your clavicles here, okay? So all the way down. Don't stop here at your chin because a lot of people actually tend to stop here at the chins, okay? So all the way down at your clavicle level, okay? Let's do it with the weight now, nice and easy. Normally you will face the mirror, by the way. I'm just doing it so that you can see it, okay? Bring it up above your head and then down to your clavicles and up again and then to your clavicles. Okay? This is one of my ultimate favorite to really isolate every side at a time of your back. I mean, like, look how shredded my back is. I hope you can see it. Is it shredded, David? Perfect. <laughs> Good for the video. <laughs> so this is great because it helps you isolate each side at a time. So you want to start by placing the cable at a higher level, okay? So you can get it a little bit higher as well. It doesn't really matter. I just kind of just get... Um, two levels, basically one level down from the highest point, if it makes sense. And then I grab a bench like this. Make sure I lift it at a 45 degree angle, okay? So we're forming a 45 degree angle. We grab the handle, make sure you select a challenging weight so it doesn't have to be too light. You need to feel the pull from here. What you will do, you will sit here and really Make sure that you take a big stretch of your upper back and pull this towards the side of your body, okay? And then control, slow and control movement. You return to the initial position and then pull again. You see how much my muscles are getting recruited? You'll probably be able to see them during the exercise as well, getting engaged throughout, okay? So I normally do 10 reps of this and then 10 reps of that. I'm going to do a couple of reps without it talking. <laughs> Our last but certainly not least um, very important upper body exercise is the bench press. And I see a lot of ladies skipping this. Um, but the bench press is such a key compound movement that you should be including in your routine. Um, so if you're a beginner, as always, make sure you start with no weight and start with the bar alone. If you're a shorty, a little shorty, there is something here that you can use to elevate your feet. And why are your feet important? Because during your bench press, you'll also use the drive from your legs too, okay? So although it's primarily an upper body workout, you also use, in a way, your legs to drive up the weight too, okay? So the correct way to perform the bench press is by slightly arching your upper body, okay? So that will look almost wrong to some people because you say, why are you arching your upper body and your spine like that? That's surely not safe. I can assure you that it's safer. And also in this way, you'll be able to target your pecs more. 
Another important thing that I'll tell you before I actually do the exercise is a very common mistake when people grab the bar. They tend to go like this because they literally put the bar over here and that will really put a lot of stress on your wrist, okay? So you need to try and keep it as straight and vertical as possible, okay? Next thing that I wanted to talk about, what was it? Oh yeah, the movement of the barbell itself. You don't push the barbell straight up vertically towards your shoulders, okay? You wanna aim the barbell traveling from your shoulders to your sternum, okay? Your sternum is over here, because a lot of people tend to just basically move it from the shoulders up in a vertical line. Instead, you, can, you have to draw a sort of J when you lift it. I know they won't make sense now, but I'll show you in a minute so you know what I mean. So, just get comfortably under the bar. You wanna make sure that your eyes are beneath the bar, so perfectly under the bar. That's your starting position. Start by arching your upper body like this, okay? Use your leg drive, as I said before. Make sure you take an equal stance, okay? Normally you will notice um, that your barbell has got some little den denty, denty things, okay? So make sure that that's how you measure it, that you're both on the same kind of side because you don't want to be wrong-sided, if it makes sense. So, arch your back, release it from the hook, okay? And the main mistake is that people drive it almost to the necks, okay? And that's wrong. The bar shouldn't travel in a vertical way. You should make this come close to your sternum and then back up again, level to your eyes, and then down again to your sternum, okay? and then back up to your eyes, again, to your face, basically, again. Obviously, with this kind of movements, especially if you haven't done them before, it takes practice. Practice makes perfect. The first few times, it's not gonna be easy. The more you practice, the easier it will get. That is with any sort of lift. But again, for me, if you want me to help you one-on-one, -on -one, link down below. One for one-to-one -one online coaching when I can actually help you or assist you. You can send me videos. I can give you tips and tricks on what you're doing on the form, how to improve it. Basically, it's like having me as your pocket PT, if you make sense. Anyway, for me, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with another video.